Okay, last just been head legged. A lot of stuff didn't happen lately. When I say a lot of stuff, I just mean, I think people, uh, the whole politics is very interesting. First of all, politics is the only form of whatever, at least here in South Africa, well, a lot of places. You don't you, you don't have to have a degree or anything like that to be a politician. You just got to be able to wax poetic, you know, be charismatic, or have a whole lot of money people behind you. Anyway. But that's just to get you in front of people, maybe get your people elected. The problem is this: people don't know what they're what they're what they're voting for. Everybody thinks they're voting for um, somebody who's going to deliver this or deliver that or whatever happened. Okay, they may may not deliver, but what you are really voting for is a manager. These, when I say the big boys, I'm not talking about the bureaucrats in the middle. They never change. Well, they, they whatever. The people up top, you know, they're basically managers. They got to manage. I mean, it's like a Oh man, okay. Remember this. This uh, what I talk here on this channel is this is about my life and trying to mix it in with ADOS and a bunch of other things and, and to make people make me understand. I don't care about anybody else because nobody listens to the channel anyway. I don't know. I shouldn't say that way. Anyway, here's the thing. Let me tell you how I became uh, arts director for WBAI Radio. Okay, which I still hold the title as arts director emeritus. I think the papers there someplace. I'll find it. Okay, here's the thing. I'm one of those people that, I mean, I do what I do. I don't bother nobody. I don't want nobody bothering me. I'm like, remember Dick Gregory said, you know, uh, I would never uh, put a, uh, take a pork chop off of your plate. Don't put a pork chop on my plate. You know, that kind of thing. Okay. Here's the thing. Uh, I really love my art. What, what I do, art, uh, audio dramas, what I do. I'm in theater, whatever. I've been theater, radio, drama, radio, audio, the whole thing. I really, I really, just, I'm, 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 inf I'm infused with it, you know? How they say, if you cut me, I bleed, audio, drama, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, uh, audio drama is part of the arts department at WBAI. Uh, arts department used to, it used to be the music department separate from the uh, critics and, and, and like drama and literature. It's cool. It was called the drama and literature department. This is my, you know? Um, and the music part was, was separate, but then some budgetary, whatever happened, you know, and they, they collapsed the department because, you know, because that's what they do, you know? Well, let's say, oh, sorry. Uh, they collapse the pump, do I see something like that? That's what they do, okay? So, so therefore, now you have three departments in one. Three, and the, the two departments, were, they were big departments, you know? Okay, so when that happened, that happened. Then, uh, in fact, when I came, when Rick Harris was the watch director. Okay, so that goes on. Then they just get arts directors, but nobody's really qualified for the job. So after a time, after a time, I'm skipping a bunch of years now. After a time, they was up for another arts director. The, the one that we had, all he did was, uh, he, he liked to go to, he liked to, because you go to art openings and stuff like that. He used to go to art openings and eat, the, you know, eat crackers and cheese and wine. He, he, was, he was doing, mm, 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 you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so, um, so I was tired, man. I, I'm going like, please, man. Then they had another. Oh no, no, they had him. Who? I'm just. It doesn't matter. And they had a black woman. We had a bunch of bunch of people there. So I said. So I finally said, look, you know, because I I was also by that time I was production design, uh, production design. I was doing producing. I was engineer, producing the news and blah 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 blah. Engineering the news and doing all that stuff. Um, and I, I had this scheme, right? I was gonna work it, so I work three days a week. Then I'm off four. I go back to school. I can do a bunch. Of, I had this really good idea, but then with the whole stuff was happening, the arts above my beloved department. So what I did was I said, okay, at least because because you know when they say they're going out looking for arts, they they just announce it someplace. They wait for who to come in. I don't think that's the way you recruit. You have to go out and look for people and you head you know headhunt. That's you just call headhunt. But that didn't happen. So I said, okay, at least whoever comes in become becomes the arts department. You know the head the head of the arts department. You know my department. Uh, the part I was in with all the music, they had to at least beat me on 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 paper. That was beat my resume, you know. And I had no manager, well, stage manager. Yep. So that's management, I guess. It's management. So I just put it in and forgot about. It. I was working. On, oh, I was working. On, I was doing. They, no, this they they, they took nine. They took a long time. Anyway, uh, I do remember that when I was called in for an interview, I totally forgotten that it did that. And I was, in fact, I was heavy working on this. I was heavy working on my. 
Ma Upis. Ma, I don't know if you call it Upis. The Outside, that's the, that's the novel. That's the uh, Richard Wright book novel. Well, actually, what I did, this is actually two plays. It's, um, there's, there's a play, uh, the, the, uh, the first book he wrote was a short story called, um, uh, what was it called? Gee, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, one of the first part is Dread, da, 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 da. The Outsider, and uh, I think it was a Lord Today. I think it's Lord Today. I forgot, I have it here someplace where stuff is based on. Anyway, um, then I just made the two parts. Part one is called Dread, part two is called The Outsider. And um, so, anyway, so I was working on this piece, you know, and this is like a long piece. I mean, the, the script, the script is literally this thick. Okay, maybe it's a little bit. The script is like this thing, you know. That was just this. I did everything. Hey, what, what did I do? I adapted it from the thing. I directed the thing. I produced the darn thing. Call for normal radio. Anyway, so I was working on that. So I was heavy into that. And then they called me in for this interview. I told them, oh, I think I had a jacket in. Oh, let me put the jacket on. So I went in there. And I said, yeah, 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 blah, 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 yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. See you. Look, when, when you're in the, you and you, you're, you're all, you know, you're not thinking about nothing else, right? And so after that, sometime after that, it wasn't, it was sometime, it wasn't, uh, I don't know if I got a point. Anyway, what happened was they gave me the job. Whoa. Now, everybody knows it was an impossible job to do. And the first thing I said when I got the job, I said, look, you don't need to send me to management school. Well, I knew it was, you know, the, his was like running an apartment, like a disparate department, disparate, a diverse, I don't like that word either. I had to put, look, we have, we have the critics, right? The people that do, do, do the, the movie reviews and the dance reviews and, you know, review music, uh, opera, you know, events, you know, plays, whatever have you. And then you have people doing magazine formatted programs where they invite people in and they do all kind of arts kind of program. Then I, I, have, I started a thing called Shelf Life, this whole reading books in the middle of the day, live on air, blah, blah, blah. Uh, plus, then you had the music department, but you know how those people are. Oh, the music department. Shoot. So, so I have 150 people that, that, that don't get paid. They're all volunteered. I mean, when it's paid. And then I'm supposed to make people who don't, who don't get paid, who not, you know, do what needs to be done. You, you understand this volunteer situation? Okay, so. But I immediately, I looked at the situation, and I'm thinking like, I'm, see there's, there's stage management, when you stage manage a play, you get to play. Then there's production stage manager, which is the overall production, where you sort of, it's almost like you're a producer. I, it doesn't matter. The point is, it's a huge responsibility, but it's so huge, you know you can't do it by yourself. So you got to delegate, just like any other situation. For instance, let me give you an example. If you're directing a really big film, you know, one of those big, Big time, you know those uh, name a name a starter, you know uh, Samuel L. Jackson film, right? You know, uh, then what will happen is you know you have all these departments, you know you have the the, the arts, the, the 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 production design, the costuming, the 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 the, 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 the actors, the, the, the logistics, the, the 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 do the location, all these people, and you can't you can't go and get, look, sure little location cast scouts to see what you do. You got to go and find it, check it out. Say yeah yeah yeah, the costume comes to you, blah blah blah. But you know these are split decisions. But you have to have people in place that you trust. Trust is the word. Forget respect that you trust that will deliver, right? Because this is, okay, that's what it is. So the first thing I did, I said, first of all, the music department is just unwieldy. It's too many things. You, you, you know, you, look, the music department, opera, regular uh, uh, R&B, um, um, salsa, you know, uh, bluegrass, uh, uh, show tunes, uh, uh, Golden Age of Radio, da 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 I mean, you got like 12 different genres, you know, in the, in the music department alone. So what I did, the first thing I did was I appointed, without pay, because we didn't have no money, you know? That's right. Excuse me, this is untoward, I shouldn't be doing this. Um, so I, I assigned it two musical coordinators, they call them musical coordinators, you know? Uh, uh, Delphine and, 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 and what's name, and Chaz. Anyway, um, so he he was came from the uh, from the R and B side and do a little bit of that, and she's like uh, more like that, like like Bjork and people like that, you know, uh, 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 new music kind of kind of things, and you know, it's regular um, pop. Music. Well, she's more cutting edge. Anyway, so they were happy to do that because a lot of music comes in all the time. Then you got to get it to the right producers. Unlike some people who are director, I didn't. You get books. You know what I mean? 
whenever something came in, I gave it to a producer that could, that I figured could use it, you know, because there's this whole scheme that people do that. But remember, to be in this kind of situation, the first thing I think you have to be, you have to be totally, you have to be honest, you have to know what you're doing, but you have to be honest, you know what I mean? You can't be doing those schemes and stuff like that, talking about a good manager. You have to be honest, you have to deliver, and you have to have, I don't want to say, see, people put disrespect too much, but you have to have the trust of your peoples. Not respect, forget respect, respect is something else, people put this too much, love, respect, all of those words are meaningless. But you must have a trust relationship. Everything that goes wrong in the world these days, I believe, has to do with, with, with deception, right? And the only way we, you have to have trust in people that we can put, I don't know. So, that's, so, 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 so what I'm trying to say is, you want to elect, when you're looking for somebody, you want to let a manager, somebody that, that knows how to fill out forms, that knows that, 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 that knows where to find the laws at the where, you know, if I'm looking for, if I'm looking for an English, most a, a, a English word and translate it close, I got to have the dictionary to do that. You know what I mean? I know everybody can you know, do little devices, little devices, little devices. Okay, you got that, right? So there's a problem. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's the thing. You are not electing a personality. You're not electing a black person. But you are electing, you are electing a great manager for your situation, whatever your situation is. That's all we're doing. So you got to look for their managerial skills, okay? So that's, I mean, look, let me just stop it right. I just wanted to say that. So all the stuff that we're looking at, people, that whatever candidates we're looking at, look for their management skills, how they around people. And the only way, and I would say the only way you can tell that is actually by working in their campaign. To hear the rumors, to hear the net, how do they treat it, that, that, that happened, that, that, that. Do, 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 do. Then you know if you have a good manager. So there you go. Uh, some advice of what, we're, we're really, what, we, we, what we are really looking for. From ADES of the ADUS, this is me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect as an American descendant of chattel slavery.